Hey guys, Seleno here from playtoearn.net. In this video, we'll be looking at a couple of games on Engine that are live right now. If you're looking for new games to play and don't see games you like on Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, or Solana, maybe you find a new game you like on Engine. So to get things started, here are 5 games on Engine you can play right now. First things first, if you aren't familiar with Engine, it is a software that allows people to create and manage NFTs like in-game assets on the Ethereum blockchain. With the use of Engine, it aims to help people mitigate gas fees and transaction speeds when moving in-game assets. It was built in 2009 as a community gaming platform. You might already know one of the more famous games on Engine, which is also the first on our list. Now that you know a bit about Engine, let's get to that list. The first game for today is Lost Relics. Lost Relics is an action-adventure RPG where players can explore dungeons and go on quests to find and defeat monsters and find precious relics. Like I mentioned earlier, Lost Relics is one of the more famous games on Engine. It was released in May of 2019 and is still alive and kicking today. The gameplay is what you would expect from an action RPG like Torchlight or Diablo. If you've played any of those games or other similar ones that have dungeon crawling mechanics, then this won't be that new to you. In Lost Relics, players use their adventures to explore procedurally generated dungeons, plains, and forests. These areas can have the chance to contain treasures and loot, and some can even drop NFT items. But these areas also house monsters to defend this loot so players have to be ready for combat. These loot are also called relics. Relics have 6 rarities, which are uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, mythical, and transcendent. The rarer the relic you get, the higher the price it can fetch on the marketplace. Aside from that, there are also cosmetic customizations you can make to your character. You can change their outfits to better suit your style. You can also equip them with different wearables to give them a certain look. And there are even certain pets your character can have to help them on their journey. There are also quests you can complete for a chance at even more relics. You can also earn the in-game currencies like gold and shadow stones just by playing. If you want to try it out, head on over to their website. The game is also free to play for anyone to try. Up next on our list is Impulse. Impulse is an FPS game where players fight it out in arenas to see who is the best shooter in the game. Since it is an FPS game, it is very similar to games like Valorant or CSGO. If you've played these games before or are a fan of the genre and go all the way back to Counter-Strike 1, this could be a game to add to your list. In Impulse, your character starts as a synthetic vessel. As the game progresses and as you play more, you will have the chance to evolve your character by assimilating the DNA of different creatures, like aliens, monsters, humans, or even cartoons. With this feature, you can even alter your individual body parts. You can make your body more buff to be stronger or choose to be a leaner body type to be more nimble. Anything is possible with the right DNA. To collect these DNA samples and items in the game, you'll have to play in the arena. There are two arenas. The first arena is where all players can play for free to collect loot and DNA to evolve their characters. This is sort of the stress-free game mode where you just play to play. Nothing is at stake because there is no cost. Once you get the hang of the game, you can participate in the credit arena. In this arena, every kill you get gives you rewards, but every time you die, you also pay a fine. It is a double-edged sword, but if you are confident with your shooting skills, it can reward you greatly. Ascendance credit is a token of the game and is pegged at 1 USD per credit. Each kill adds 1 AC and each death deducts 1 AC. After the match, if you amass enough AC, you can cash out. This game can be played solo or with friends to make it more enjoyable as a team. If you want to try the game out, head on over to their website. If you are liking this list so far, you can always check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. The next game on our list is War of Ants. War of Ants is a real-time PvP strategy game where you can compete with other players online by waging war against other ant colonies, all with the chance of earning rewards. The gameplay here is actually pretty straightforward. You go on a PvP match with another player in real time and fight in an arena. Each player has a set of units he can deploy to go and fight the enemy. The units can have varying SP costs which the player has to consider. The stronger the unit, the higher the SP cost it will have to deploy. SP regenerates continuously throughout the match. Each player also has a queen ant with an HP bar at the back. If an enemy ant reaches your queen, it damages them directly, so you have to do everything to prevent this. The winner is decided when one player's HP reaches zero or if your ant army is able to bring the treasure chest in the middle of the arena back to your base. As you can see, it is a mind game and you will have to strategize where and when to place units to use them effectively. Players also have superpowers like bombs that they can use in case of emergencies. These powers also cost SP and have a cooldown. 
If you want to try out the game, it is live on the Google Play Store. You will need an engine wallet before you start playing. Up next on our list is Bitcoin Hodler. Bitcoin Hodler is a single-player arcade-style game where players have a chance at earning blockchain-based rewards. The game is actually pretty simple because it is very similar to the gameplay of Flappy Birds. If you've played that game in the past, this won't be new to you. But if you haven't, the main goal of the game is to keep tapping your character so it stays in the air. It is an addicting game looking at the success of Flappy Bird, but Bitcoin Hodler takes it up a notch and adds multiple features in their game to keep it more interesting. Each hodler in the game has a class. This class decides what kind of skill the hodler has. For example, Major Tom is part of the Space Hodler class, which gives him the boost skill. The boost skill allows you to tap and hold on the screen to rise continuously instead of repeated tapping. Each hodler also has a character skill which is independent from their class skill. Taking Major Tom again, for example, he has the FUD resistance skill, which protects him from fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Other classes in the game are Crypto, Average Joe, Action, Bankster, and Universal. Other interesting character skills are Invisibility, which makes you pass through obstacles for a limited time, and Time Warp, which slows down the surroundings to help you plan your moves. There are a lot of possible combinations for skills, so it really helps make the game more engaging. If you want to try out the game, it is available on mobile app stores. And the last game on our list is Ether Legends. Ether Legends is a trading card game where players can use their cards to fight with other players in their decks. The game is under the trading card game genre, so if you've played any similar game before like Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering, you already have a good idea how this game works. Unit cards in the game have several attributes that decide how they perform against other cards. These attributes are Attack, Defense, HP, Heal, Disrupt, and Elementium Capacity. Two other attributes they have are Card Edition and Rarity, which are not as important in combat. At the start of each match, both players roll a die. The one with the higher number goes first. Both players then have to put down three cards and then the fight begins. Players have to choose to either attack, heal, or disrupt during their turn until one of them defeats the cards put down by the other. This is how the core gameplay works and where the cards you own are important. Since it is a card game based on the blockchain, like I mentioned earlier, you will have full ownership of your cards. They are freely tradable at any time so you can maybe make a good profit if you flip a few rare cards. You can also forge better cards by burning weaker cards together, making them more valuable. If you want to try out the game, you can check out their website. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If this is the first time you're hearing about other games on Engine besides Lost Relics, then hopefully this list helped you find info on more games you might like. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video!